Hello scrappers. So, let's look together what is inside this box. I will not tell you what kind of device it is. So, we will keep you 30 seconds uh, in the dark. But, you see a data cable, so probably it's some kind of external data device. Let me remove these screws. I bought really cheaply this device. I spent something like 3-4 US dollars on it. So, screws are remote. And let's open it. Which direction it is? That's the correct one. Wow! Awful noise. But let's check what's inside. It's a beauty. Look at it. It's amazing. It's a floppy drive. It's five and quarter inch floppy drive. And just look at the boards inside. So on this board you have more precious materials than maybe on 510 main boards from modern computers. Just look at the gold plating. It's so yellowish. It's so nice. And what else? You have these brown Bulgarian capacitors. And um, I see 12 of them, 12 big ones, also some small ones. These are really nice transistors. They have uh, gold plating below, but let me remove these two boards and I'll show you exactly what is on them. So let me show you what is in this small board. We have these brown Bulgarian MLCCs. We have some really good chips with gold plating inside and gold wires and we have this sp514 which is a nice resistor we have um, palladium in this element so this board is really small but really nice board many valuable elements on it as i said the big one is even better but let me remove one of these just to show you what is underneath. Look at this gold plating. And it's on the other side too. So it's really, really nice gold plating in these transistors. And we have four of them here. So I'm really happy with these boards. They're small, but you can find more on these small boards than after a whole day work on modern electronics. That's why I don't scrap modern electronics. I scrap old useless stuff that no one can repair and no one can use and it's not even good for collection. Okay, so what we have at the end. I removed the most valuable elements and let's check for example these brown MLCCs. It's five, almost six grams, 5.76 grams. I remember last week I scrapped 10 hard drive boards and I got six grams of MLCCs. And I'm sure that I have more palladium in these brown ones than in the six grams recovered from the hard drive boards. I also removed these four transistors. They're really good. They are with thick gold plating. I removed this SP514. This one contains palladium. And I have only three really small blue Bulgarian capacitors. But please look at these black ones. It's written BCO on them. They're plastic, look like plastic, and they're capacitors. These are the so-called black Bulgarian capacitors. 
these ones are as good as the brown ones. You have a lot of palladium in this black capacitor. So please don't skip them. Don't throw them. These appear to be on many electronics manufactured in East Europe, Bulgaria, Russia, exported. So pay attention if it's written BCO on these black boxes. This is a good quality capacitor. So that's what I usually do. I pick the most valuable stuff and I keep these boards with some gold plated pins, transistors and chips. I stockpile them and I process them in batches to remove the chips, to remove the pins and then to recover precious metals from them. That's everything from me. Thanks for watching.